I'm back. But it bees like this boy, the super saw, the 13 saw, the super matter, 13 love, 13 wisdom, 13 knowledge, and 13 respect. And 13 to you and yours. You know, 13 to the nigga, serpent eyes. 13 wisdom, baby. Yo, your boy. Um, you know, um, I ain't been making videos and stuff like that. Doing my thing. I've got a lot of a lot of research I've been doing and stuff to get clarification and everything. And plus, ancestors has been on the planet deep or outside the planet deep. And so I've been getting more DNA activated myself. You know, because I'm still in this human form myself too. But the next couple of videos, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot some information about a lot of things because I have to bring a lot of more clarification to 13 because so many people think 13 is just it's a feminine principle which is the mother principle so a lot of people come into 13 and they think they know what they think they know what 13 really means and start running on 13 it's like they this and they that but they don't have the knowledge the real knowledge of the whole frequency or resonance of the 13 vibration see majority of people still in that 2012 evolution or Maya they never left out they still under that they still under what you call it your patriarch they still under the program on um, the matrix majority of people is majority of people think 13 is like some kind of phase or something like that but 13 is deeper than you 13 is deeper than you can even fathom. I'm talking about super deep. 13 is the universal frequency. The universal frequency. So that means all and everything. The heard that word. The all and everything comes out that vibration from Sirius Sun C, dark matter womb. If you have noticed, a lot of people looking up at the stars lately, like especially when full moon time come, the stars look bright. So you can see clear. I can see clear now. The rain is gone. You know that kind of stuff like that. So when you see look at that serious star, tell me, you think they make it more technology, making phones or cameras um, better to make serious look clear, or are we getting closer? Sirius getting closer, ain't it? It's starting, to, it's starting to see with your naked eye. Why is this? See, nobody thinks about these things. We're getting closer. We all know Earth has that. But they call it the binary thing, supposed to have the two suns or whatever and stuff. But you're not taught this kind of stuff in elementary. But this stuff is inside of you. Just like the star up here, or moon up here, sun down there, or whatever. It's like, it's you. Everything, your body is everything the same as earth. And you got to understand that the soul inside of you is something serious. It's nothing to be playing around with. I know a lot of stuff look good out here, the matter. You wanted new cars, you wanted the new houses. So you see, you look around, you see that everything's still the same. People going to work, people chase a woman, people watch your TV, people doing the same thing. So it look like, like something like I say, it's going to seem like a crackpot, like somebody crazy or something like that. But you look around, majority of the people all talk some kind of spiritual stuff now. They don't know what it is, but they, they something pulling them toward the spiritual self or back to the divine laws of nature. But they ain't coming back all the way because they got too much confusion and distractions out here in the matrix. I posted a thing on Twitter just talking about and scientists have been studying when the body dies, it loses 21 grams of weight from the body. That 21 grams is the soul. It's on every body. So they have recorded the soul leaving the body, which is like a blue orb or a white mist, like leaving the body. This mist or the orb, it goes toward the heavens or the earth realm. So when you look at Earth, 
on these pictures from the NASA satellites and everything, you see this blue rim like around Earth, like a blue film. That blue film is the souls from the people that died on Earth. The people cannot go get out of Earth because it's a prison planet. So all the stuff you deal with your religious books or laws of my eye, about your heart being weighed, your heart has to be lighter than a feather. If your heart is not, if your heart is heavier than a feather, you fall back down to so-called fallen angels or fallen myths or fallen stars falling back down to earth. This is why you got so many newborn babies on the planet. Because of the people that have been down over the last years, they're not leaving the planet. They didn't make it. Their hearts was too heavy. They didn't get it right. So all these newborn babies all over the planet, this is why you got like 7 billion or 8 billion people on the planet now. They ain't never been like this. Why is that? Because over the last, let's call it, but the last thousand years, nobody been teaching people about spirituality. Keeping their soul right and protecting them. Keeping their soul pure and whole. Keeping them with morals. So they don't have no morals. So they're going to come back down and re repent, replay. Reincarnated. So all these souls is falling down. This little badass trigger being out here now. People are bad and stuff, and they mad, and they know it, because they're like, God, they get out. Why you think they trying to rebel now? Why you think they pissed off now? Because you never made it out the first time. So now, so many souls out here been falling down, like ghosts and drifted and everything else. But if your soul is right, and you made it come at complete whole, you can get out of here and go to so-called heaven, fourth dimension. See that blue rim around it? That's that, that's that gateway. What I told you before in old videos. If you're right, the cats will guide you through there. See, because up in that area, you're going to have demons and so-called angels around there. The word demons is angels anyway. Fallen angels. That evolved. Or descended. Or decelerated. So, back to this thing I was talking about to do with Albert Pike. He said he was going to, son of Satan was going to make all people have turned to atheism, all kind of other stuff. Flip you upside down. Take away all your morals. So the, half the world has no morals no more. They have, their heart's too heavy. They have hate. They have hate against people they don't even know. They can't let nothing go. So all these people are being reincarnated back and over. They, so the planet is full. That's why you're starting to see so much crazy stuff going around the planet. Because everybody's heart's too heavy. And they didn't get right. So everything you was told not to do, you out here doing it. You was told, don't lie, don't lie. You watching the TV and the TV it's making you, it's making you get a heavy heart, make you want things that you don't need. So you're getting all this extra matter and you can't take not one bit of nothing out here with you. You can't take your car, you can't take your jewelry, you can't, can't, can't take your um, your woman, your children, you can, I mean you can't take no clothes, you can't take no shoes, you can't take nothing with you. But human instead is trying to get more and more. And we don't need none of it. We're trying to store stuff away instead of storing the right information inside your, inside your DNA to correct it. You're supposed to become light, not heavy. But everybody's steady trying to grab more and more stuff instead of getting some rid of some stuff and become light. So let me tell you something. Look at your soul as an airplane. The airplane flying through the air is cruising through there, good speeds or whatever. If somebody shoot a gun on the airplane and put a hole, one little hole in the airplane, it throw that airplane out of balance and that airplane comes crashing. If somebody knock the door open or a window open on the airplane, all that air comes in the airplane and destroys everything inside and start pulling people out, out, start pulling the guts or the people inside the airplane, start pulling them outside. If one little hole is leaking. So if you, so your body is a soul, your soul is inside your body. If your soul ain't complete with a whole full skill around it, and you got all this bad food like sugars and stuff. You got all these demons in your body doing all this bad stuff right here. So your soul is not complete and whole. So you got a lot of holes in your aura field. So what's happening? Your soul is leaving out. Parts of your inside of the guts are leaving out these holes that's around your body because you're not complete yet. You think I don't know what the hell I be telling you about? When eating right, getting your proper cell on. You got to build your aura field around you. That, that, that 13 period matter. You got to get inside and make it complete and whole. So your miracle might be full of whole. So then you can accelerate through the sky. Accelerate through the atmosphere. Because if you take it off and your, your body ain't complete. Your soul ain't complete. You got them holes in it. What's going to happen? You're going to come crash right down. Because you thought you had time to just. I can get right when I get right next year. You don't want to get right right now. See so many people out here. They, they trying to still get all this matter stuff. 
everybody's still trying to do all this other kind of stuff. You can do it your tools while you're still here, but you better be getting right at the same time. That's what I be saying. And too many of y'all still worrying about your parents, worrying about the children, worrying about this. Hey, you better be worried about yourself because you was the star that came inside that family. That don't mean that family is your old family. That's right. That's that's you had to go inside that family to learn something inside of that family, something dealing with karma or whatever. That's all that is, baby. You can have love for your family, but they like gonna be crowds in the bucket trying to pull you down. You better be trying to get yourself right to get out. Oh, oh yeah, a lot of y'all ain't gonna get out. Y'all gonna get stuck in this 3D form, this 3D hell, this matrix, this illusion holographic world that you're trapped in, that's trapped in here. And somebody else wanna keep you here. Or they need your souls to ener keep energized here. Think about it. Why do people, the ones you told not to idolize, it's only a certain few, ain't nothing that pushes negativity stuff out here to the public. So who they working for? They sold their souls because they can't go nowhere. So you gotta make sure you can't go nowhere either. Think about it. Start to get your souls right, get your bodies right. And then you'll start really understanding about that 13th vibration. Because you got your body has to be at a certain vibration to accelerate out of here. That 13th hour, that 13th vibration, that 13th frequency, the same frequency as the universe. 13. Some people around here yelling 13 don't even have a clue. And ain't none of them halfway near no thir to 13. That's just real talk. So all y'all talking and all this kind of stuff, y'all better chill out and get right. Now, Cause I see too, I see too much buffoonery still going on. So much hate being poured. They, they, they can mess with your distractions so so bad. They can just throw some little incident out and y'all go crazy about it. That's show you ain't vibrating right. That's show you keep falling for every illusion out here. I posted information that showed you the government got trolls out here that bothers people. So somebody like me, they bought my videos talking all that smack. These government agents are trolls, sons of Satan. That's all they do, sit in rooms, go around bothering people who anybody speaking right. They try to make it look like they wrong. But the beast who got them done, he don't know that anything you say bad about somebody, it's still gonna make other people come in and look. And then they're gonna see it for themselves and say, wait a second, I don't see nothing wrong with saying. I feel that all my life. People crazy. Yo. But y'all better check it out though. Because Earth is changing. If you can't see Earth changing, something wrong. Go to my the 13th Sun Doc WordPress and I posted that information about the seven thunders that Dr. York wrote, which he took out of the some old old um ancient prophecies from the whole Bida Yamaza, um Buddhism, some different different stuff. So he put all that together about the seven thunders. And when the coming of the seven thunders, how the planet is going to change at so-called end of time, end of world, end of the age, whatever you want to call it. But if you look at that and read that, you will see we went through all them signs, them cycles. We got El Nino on the planet and El, El Nino dealing with the boy and the girl of the winds coming on the planet. The cold wind bringing out heat and hot tornadoes and the um, hot wind bringing these, all the other kind of stuff. So everything is right on time. Y'all can't see it because you're still watching these illusions. But you don't see the whole world changing around you. The political breakdown, the, over, the over governments, the banks, all this kind of stuff. Everything, children killing children, all this is in these same thunders, these same signs. But for some reason, people think the world gonna continue doing what it's doing and don't even know what time it is on the planet. You think this planet could continue, you think the planet could, could continue living at 20 more years at this rate it's doing? Destroying everything? What, what food you gonna eat when everything's genetically modified? The water all pours. Come on, think about it. Let's just keep it real. I ain't trying to scare you nothing. I'm trying to prepare you. I ain't telling you to run to no church either because your best temple is in your, your temple is right here. The soul is already inside the temple. I'm just taking some good shit. This your boy, the super son, the super man. 13 son. But let me give you them vibrations. I really tell you how deep it goes. Since the others think they know. It's your boy. All right. You don't want to see my circle eyes no more.